You're using the solar to power a tiny home. So what are you using it to, what are you powering in the tiny home? So what we're actually powering is a park model home. Um, and we power it, we have it on display as a kiosk. Uh, and currently we have it plugged into uh, the lighting and the refrigerator. How long did it take to install? Um, you know, from, from the time the truck showed up with the equipment to the time they left was probably about an hour and a half. Have you needed the grid or some backup generator during that time? Nope, nothing at all. Okay. Uh, did you experience any problems? No, no problems at all. Um, once we get everything hooked up and we tested it, it's just been running smooth. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite part of the system? That it works. No, <laughs> no, I know my favorite part. That the solar panels are on the ground, so we don't have to move the house. The solar panels can be moved and positioned with the sun, and your house can go wherever you want it to go. And there I can go. move the solar panels. Awesome. Oh, anyway, nothing. And, and actually, my, my favorite part is the compact unit. This year. In okay. fact, it's small. When you're in a tinier park model, space is very important. Right. So a nice compact unit. That's actually my favorite part. Good. Good point. H have you tried any other off-grid solar systems in the past? Who was that guy? I can't remember. The name. Yeah, he was so good. We can't even remember the name of the guy. Um, so we had we, we did have another solar company uh, that we used last year in Tiny House Jamboree to power one of our homes. Um, the best part about their system was the guys putting it up were great. I loved it. The downside of their system was everything else. It, it, it was, was big. It was bulky. bulky it was wheel, unwieldy. It required this huge box outside to put the batteries in. I mean, this huge, like half a dumpster size box. It, it, was, it was a big job box. It was big. big. Metal. Okay. Yeah. One of them had all this equipment in it, only bigger, and the other one had all the batteries, and they had big bounds of wire that were running up the side of the house onto the panels that were on the roof. So it was extremely exposed, extremely heavy. And it was just um, not pretty. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it didn't work. No, it didn't it work. It got rained on. <laughs> it got rained on and then so, it's... It and then went it broke? Kaput. Well, it, it fried one of the batteries and it just went kaput. And it was not... It wasn't attractive. Not the battery, it fried the main inverter. Yeah, it made it the house right. look bulky wow. and unwieldy. It wasn't pretty. Yeah, I'd say, uh, okay. I, I'd say when when the issue, when and if the issue comes up, hey, we need to buy a solar system. That kind of goes without question. This, I think would, we're all this would be my first choice because I can, and the other ones I can't. Like I'm, you know, five feet tall and okay. 115 pounds. I can move this, so this would be our first choice. And it's, I mean, and it's pretty, it's pretty user friendly. So it's very user friendly. I don't know that much about solar, and I can figure this out.